just can't deal with everything. Okay, let's let's try this again. Um, I've relocated you twice now. We're facing the window. That's all. That, that's all that really matters. So, in my university career of three or four months, I have made a shit ton of mistakes. Today, I thought I would let you in on some of the stuff I have learned, the advice that I think university freshers should know, or to give consolation to those who too have made some mistakes. Because I need. I need consolation, I need to know I'm not alone in this. You will meet some amazing people in Freshers and then two weeks later you will want to kill them. Don't worry, that's normal, everyone goes through that. People you meet in your first week or your first month or your first semester will not determine your entire university experience. Catered food is horrendous. It's, it's so bad, it's so bad. If you have the option to go into self-catered halls because if you're a vegetarian, you will regret everything when you're on your 10th plate of tofu and cauliflower that week. <laughs> ramen will become a staple food. You, you will eat ramen for every meal of every day. It's 45p a packet. Even if you don't like noodles, you will end up eating ramen. Sleep is a foreign concept. There is no such thing as free time. Only time spent not doing the work that you're meant to be doing. Essays can be done the night before. Uh, but I, I don't I don't recommend it. The library at 2am is the most depressing place and when you're on a caffeine high and shaking slightly you will want to die. You will change as a person in the first month in ways that you didn't even think was possible. I started liking grime music. Like, grime music. You have to be open to new things. Go to vegetarian society. Go to a cooking class. Go to a live jazz show despite never showing interest in jazz in your life. Broaden your horizons, you know, freshers doesn't have to be about getting pissed every day. At some point, you will have a member of your family living with you. Make sure your room's not disgusting. Plants make everything better. Some people are dickheads. Some people seem like dickheads. Some people still haven't grown up. And you have to let them do that in their own time. And don't let them waste yours. You will probably have packed too much stuff. You know, you're never gonna read all those books or use all of those plates, but a little bit of clutter makes it seem a bit more like home. Blankets help. The coziness will be needed when the homesickness hits. There will never be a quiet moment. Everything is noisy all of the time. <laughs> You'll probably hear someone have sex at least once. Invest in some good headphones. You will probably find some kind of human excrement in the toilets and walls at least once and you will want to die. No one warned me about this, so I'm just letting you know so then you don't go through the same thing I did. There is no way you're gonna go to every lecture. Just accept that now. Accept that it will be a waste of, what, like 200 pounds for not going. And just stay in bed and don't feel too bad if the walk to the lecture hall is just too much for you to handle in the morning. Food is expensive. You will find yourself freezing bread and chugging milk that's two days out of date so you don't waste your money is just a fact of university life. <laughs> you will feel lonely. You will have days that you feel like you can't cope. You will have nights where all you want is your mother and a cup of tea. You will also spend amazing days with friends that you didn't know a month ago. You will probably master the art of finishing bottles of wine by yourself and you will probably find out that you can cook some bomb ass pasta. You will only get out of university what you put into it. So put as much shit into it as you can and you will come out with the best experience. And that is everything that I have learned so far. That and a history in first year is shit. So don't do history. <laughs> Bye.